Hey, my name's Nat, and this is Newsbreak. The coronation of King Charles III is happening tomorrow. Here's Michelle with all the details. It's going to be big. You know, this is a day that's going to go down in history. It's going to be grand. I'm just so excited. I'm like a five-year-old at Christmas waiting to open my present. It's going to be the coronation of King Charles III. So what is a coronation? Well, it's a long-standing tradition that dates back almost a thousand years. And it's the moment a new monarch is formally crowned. But it's a bit more than someone just putting a crown on King Charles's head. It'll kick off tomorrow with the King's procession from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey, where a religious coronation ceremony will take place. After that, their majesties will head back to Buckingham Palace, where they'll wave to the crowds from this famous balcony with the rest of the family. And there'll be a lot of tradition and bling along the way. This is the first coronation in 70 years, since Queen Elizabeth II's in 1953, and people have travelled from all over the world to witness it. And we're off. Oh, I'm so excited. But it's estimated to cost about £100 million. That's $180 Aussie dollars, which has rubbed some people the wrong way because there's a cost of living crisis going on in the UK at the moment. They're spending so much on a coronation. It just feels like a kick in the teeth. But it's said the King has asked for a more low-key event to reflect the crisis, with a shorter service, fewer guests, and a procession that is seven times smaller than his mother's. So while not everyone will be celebrating, the ones that are will be whipping up a coronation quiche, decking out their enclosures, and lining the streets to catch a glimpse of this historic event. The winner of the 2023 Archibald Prize was announced today. It's known as the most prestigious art award in Australia. And this year it went to Julia Goodman for this portrait of singer Montaigne. I'm feeling really excited and very overwhelmed. The NRL's Magic Round starts tonight in Brisbane. It'll see all 16 teams in the league playing each other at Lang Park over the weekend. Organisers are expecting about 135,000 fans to pack the stands, with the Bulldogs and the Raiders kicking things off tonight. After a six-day trial, a copyright case against Ed Sheeran has come to an end. So, did he win? Here's Josh to fill us in. It's the case that made Ed Sheeran threaten to walk away from music forever. He was accused of copying parts of his song Thinking Out Loud Darling, I will. by the heirs of a songwriter called Ed Townsend, who wrote Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. I've been really trying, they reckon some of it sounded a little too similar. So they took him to court and bought it out. But today, Ed Sheeran won the case! <laughs> That's right, the US jury agreed with his defence team, who argued the song used elements that can't be copyrighted. These chords are common building blocks which were used to create music long before Let's Get It On. No one owns them, in the same way that nobody owns the colour blue. Ed reckons there needs to be more room for coincidences, and is urging that cases like these are harmful to the songwriting industry. We need to be able to write our original music without worrying at every step of the way that such creativity will be wrongly called into question. Whew. Now it's time for some stories that are all a bit unconventional. OK, get me down from here. Quite recently, in a place sort of far away, um, Ohio in the United States, two Jedi Knights tied the knot at this special ceremony celebrating Star Wars Day, May the 4th. Oh, yeah, yes. huge Star Wars fans. It's one of the things we got to, like, really bond over and everything. But it wasn't just them. Six other couples had their wedding here too. But the whole Star Wars thing came as a bit of a surprise to some. <laughs> we were looking for the soonest we could get in. It just happened to be uh, May 4th. Now to Australia's next top chicken, Jolene. She's an Isa Brown chook known for their egg laying abilities, with next top rooster going to Harold, who's uh, donning a tutu. And Sweet Potato, who took home the trophy for Funniest Chicken. This year's competition featured 500 chooks, with more than 70,000 votes cast. <laughs> and finally, to this statue, which was designed with the help of AI, taking inspiration from famous sculptors like Michelangelo and Rodin to make something new. If you take five artists, how do you combine them with one piece of art that's actually manufacturable? The end result was carved out of solid stainless steel using high-tech machinery, and it weighs in at 500 kilos. 
Oh, there we go. That's what we've got time for this week. Have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Bye.